Hi children, good morning everyone. In today's class, we will continue the lesson of how fabrics are made in which we have completed about the properties of natural fibers. Now we will be about the properties of artificial fibers. As you know well, artificial fibers are man-made fibers synthesized from chemicals. So they are called as man-made fibers or synthetic fibers. Since they are made from the chemicals, you know well, they are also called as chemical fibers. Okay children, so what are the properties of artificial fibers? Today we will see the properties of artificial fibers. Artificial fibers examples as you know well that they are nylon, polyester, rayon, terrain, acrylic. Okay children, so here you are going to learn about the properties. So in fact they are made from chemicals. So when they are burnt, they give pungent smell. How do they give? What is the smell of the artificial fibers? That is result after burning. If you see the result after burning, though they turn to ash or sometimes you see the nature of the chemicals, that is the plastic, how if it is the smell of plastic also you get it. The chemicals released from it. Okay, so it is they give the smell of plastic or pungent smell. Plastic burning smell. Okay, or it is a pungent smell because of the chemicals present in it. Is it clear? They give pungent smell. That is the main property result of the burning. If you see the absorption capacity of the artificial fibers, absorption capacity. So it is very less when compared to the wool and cotton jute. Jute and cotton, the absorption capacity is very less. Okay, next coming to drying capacity. Drying capacity of artificial fibers if you take, it takes less time to dry. It takes less time to dry. Most of the artificial fibers, they take less time to dry. Except some of the bits like rayon and so on. Even though they, uh, when compared to the natural fibers like jute, wool, cotton and all, they take less time to dry. Next, expansion capacity or stretching capacity. If you see the expansion capacity or the stretching capacity of the artificial fibers, you can say that it is very very less. They cannot be stretched at all. Okay, so it is less or cannot be stretched at all or no stretching capacity at all for the artificial fibers. So from this you can understand that there are, there are a lot of difference between the natural fibers and artificial fibers. Natural fibers are the fibers that we get from plants and animals. Where cotton, wool, jute, silk or the natural fibers which we get from the plants naturally in, that is obtained from the nature in itself. And the artificial fibers are man-made fibers made out of chemicals which are done. When they are burned, they give pungent smell. Is it clear? And they take less time to dry and also they do not absorb more water. As they do not absorb more water, they take less time to dry. And the expansion capacity of the artificial fibers is very less when compared to the natural fibers like wood. Is it clear children? So this is about the properties of the artificial fibers. So now you can complete the tables from your textbook. State the activity one of your textbook for all of you children. <coughs> we'll continue the activity now. Okay. See here children the board over here. You can see the table 
where you have the seasons months which in our country that is especially the india like tropical country where it contains only two three seasons in a year mostly the autumn season as you know well it's a um, very meager that is in a very limited uh, time period we experience the autumn season in india okay that is occasional so especially it is divided into three seasons like rainy season winter season and summer season as you know well that uh, the seasons are divided into various types of uh, as uh, in your language they say that is uh, all the climatic conditions according to the climatic conditions it is grishma ritu varsha ritu sharat ritu hemant ritu isn't it so these all are uh, again classified as uh, monsoon grishma as it is called as summer season vasanta ritu spring season so vasanta it starts from vasanta ritu that is the season sir uh, which is called in telugu as you know it uh, that is a uh, vasanta means the uh, spring uh, and the next coming to grishma ritu that is called as the summer and the varsha ritu rainy season or it is called as a monsoon season varsha ritu next uh, compared um, coming to the sarat ritu which is called as an autumn season it is called as an autumn season hemant ritu that is a pre winter season before the winter when it uh, arises it is called as a pre winter season hemant ritu shishya ritu completely it is a um, winter season okay children so these are the various seasons that we come across so in fact in india being a tropical country and it receives very strong sunlight throughout the year we do not experience all the four seasons here okay so this can be compared and written as such into the three seasons as summer winter and rainy seasons where the rainy seasons move in between june to september now this uh, due to unseasonal rains we cannot expect the seasons nowadays uh, perfectly now is it clear to you so in, in general the seasons should fall between these months of june to september we experience rainy season in india and the climate is wet and we wear synthetic clothes during this season next coming to the winter season it near naturally it is between october to january we experience the winter season where we have pre winter season where uh, 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 we come across in during october and november months where the climate is very cold and we like to wear we prefer sorry we prefer to wear the woolen clothes during this season and next coming to the summer season we experience the extreme hot climate during the periods of uh, the months in february to may okay so in this period we experience extreme hot climate and we prefer to wear cotton clothes during this summer season so these are the different types of clothes that we prefer to wear according to the changing climatic conditions in this particular months of the year okay children hope you have understood this and uh, you know how we prefer to select a fabric too is it clear now we will try to write the next table that is given in the activity one table number 2 that is the type of the fabric and the items that is being prepared and made for usage in our daily purpose okay let's start writing the table 2 now hope you have understood the table one now we we'll proceed to table 2 of your subject okay children be ready in the given table of two you have given a different types of fabrics and what are the different items that are prepared with that uh, fabric you have to write down okay children see here in the cotton you generally know you prefer to use the cotton towels cotton sarees cotton t-shirts cotton bed sheets table linen so these are the various varieties of the clothes that we wear prefer to prefer cotton to be made for using for this particular purposes so towels sarees dhoti bed sheets t-shirts table cloths and also the socks so you can enrich your list depending upon your usage next coming to the silk silk with the silk you have the kurtas sarees shirts ties blouses jackets 
silk jackets, pyjamas, comforters or the sleeping bags or suits that help for comfort purpose. Okay, so bread linen are also made with the help of the silk fabric. Okay, note down this. Later I'll move to the next fiber that is wool. Meanwhile, you note down in your notes the stable children. So continuation of the table children, here it is the woolen fabric where we use the woolen fabric for different items like sweaters, mufflers, socks, stockings that is for the socks that we use it. Okay, the, mostly the girls prefer to use this woolen stockings, mittens that is gloves okay? and the blankets. You know well the woolen blankets which help us to protect us from the cold during the extreme winter season. Okay, let's come to the polyester. Polyester fabrics like shirts, polyester shirts, polyester dhotis, jackets, hats, rope, sheets, upholstery. So the things that we use for decoration and all, we can use the polyester. Let's come to the linen clothes. Linen clothing are generally meant for trousers, sad linen saris, apron, bags, towels, tablecloth, chair covers, bed linen, etc. are made out of the linen. Hope you have understood children. Note down this table and try to answer the questions below the table. Okay. First you write down, I will give you one, two minutes time. Later we proceed to the questions. Hope you have understood well all the points that we have covered till now. Next. See the question in your textbook children. That is asked, what kind of fabric is mostly used in your house? In your house, mostly you prefer to wear the cotton clothes, isn't it? They keep us cool and we feel very comfortable in wearing the cotton, isn't it? At home, generally you prefer to wear the cotton clothes. Next, how can you identify the type of fabric? A type of fabric, whether it is a cotton, wool or silk, you have already learned about the properties of the fabrics through which you can identify the uh, type of the fabric it is being made of. Whether it is a plant made, made from the fibers out of the plant products or the animals. You know well that you get cotton from the cotton plant, wool from the sheep, yarn, goat, camel etc. That is the skin, the uh, fleece of the animals. You get the wool and silk from the silk worm and the others like jute from the stem of the jute plant. So in fact, cotton fabrics are somewhat in at home how to identify through which fabric it is being made of. So see the part children, how the cotton fabrics are. They are somewhat thicker than the polyester fabrics. Cotton, so the coarse cotton clothes are used to mop the floor and they are very heavier. After washing cotton clothes wrinkle, that is Murata Gravada in Telugu we say that they get wrinkles over the cotton clothes unless and until you iron them they do not become soft. Okay, the wrinkles are removed by ironing the clothes to become, to make them soft. Okay, so silk fabric is smooth to touch whereas linen clothes are somewhat heavier than silk fabrics. So this is um, how the how they are in touch. We can understand through the properties of whether they are heavier or smooth or coarse or fine. So we can see by touching the fabric, we can feel the fabric by how it is to the texture. So the texture is also one of the property of the fabrics through which we can understand which fabric it belongs to. Okay, so you can try to develop the properties of cotton and polyester. Now you know the properties of polyester as they are very fine, they are quite uh, smooth and light in weight whereas the cotton is heavier when compared to the polyester and they are also coarse in nature. Okay, well, so mostly you prefer this type of fabrics according to the climatic conditions we prefer to wear the fabric to which climate it belongs to. Okay children, next. We will see the next part of the fibers and to test, testing the fibers also we have seen that burning the fibers, after burning the fibers you know how to which 
condition it changes. If it changes to ash color, then oh, sorry, if it changes to ash, then we can say that they are natural fibers and if they give this pungent smell, then we can say that the fibers are artificial fibers. Okay, and if they give this feather of burnt feather smell, then also we can say that they are natural fibers. So this is about the fibers children. Now I already told you the activity two in your previous class. This is an activity to children where they have taken a piece of cloth and removed a fiber from it. So the fiber, if you pull the threads out of the uh, fabric one by one and observe the threads, you can take a thread and scratch one and then observe it under the magnifying lens. Then you can see so many strands of tiny strands of threads in it. So these tiny strands of threads are known as strands are known as the fibers. So the fibers are twisted to form the yarn, and from the yarn, when it is being woven on the looms, we get the fabric. So the types of fibers we have seen, they are natural fibers and artificial fibers. And the characteristics of the fibers we have seen already and I'll give you in the next table, you can note it down. Here children, you can see the characteristics of the fabrics. Note down here, the first one, water absorbing nature. It is more for all the fabrics, natural fabrics like cotton, wool, jute, except silk. Artificial fibers or the fabric, they have less absorption capacity. Time taken to dry, they take more time to dry, except silk. Silk takes less time to dry. Okay, and compared to the artificial fabrics, artificial fabrics also take less time to dry. When, when we see the smell while burning, Silk gives burnt feathers smell, whereas artificial fibers fabrics give pungent smell. Stretching capacity of yarn. So several fibers make into yarn, you know it. So more for wool, the stretching capacity is more for wool than the other fibers like cotton, jute and silk. Whereas the stretching capacity for the artificial fabrics is very less. Next last one is smoothness. See children, the last property where it is given as smoothness, fifth one. What is the, when you compare the fabrics about the smoothness, you can see, find that the smoothness is coarse for all other fabrics and natural fibers than silk. So smoothness if you take, it is coarse. For cotton, jute, and wool, except silk, except silk. So you find a smoothness. The silk fabrics are very smooth in nature. You find the cotton clothes also smooth cotton clothes and rough cotton clothes. In woolen also you find soft wool and coarse wool. Okay, but in silk you find mostly they are very shiny and smooth. The smooth the texture is very smooth for silk fabrics. Okay, in artificial fabrics you can see the smoothness. Okay, artificial fabrics are very smooth in nature. Mostly they are very smooth except one or two. Okay, so this is the characteristic properties of the fabrics where you can understand by the observation and doing the experimentation. Okay children, that is about the lesson for today and we will continue the next topic of the uh, lesson of natural and artificial fibers, how they are manufactured. Manufacture of the fabric we will see in the next class children. Hope you have understood this, continue this and do the work in your notes, complete the tables that I have given you. You know that the fibers are in general, they are made out of the, the sorry, the fabric is made out of the yarn and the yarn you get from the fibers. Do it children, for today we end the class, in the next class.